Hey guys, it's Russ. Today we're going to be doing question and answers. Uh, these are the, the best questions I've got from you guys across all my social media platforms and of course my website, uh, russhowpti.com. Um, what I've done is I've just picked my favourite so 5 10 questions and I'm going to try and do this every single month. Before we begin, make sure you high five the like button in the face and if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and then hit that little bell button so you get notifications when we upload new videos for you and be part of the team. Cheers YouTube. <laughs> it's not like we uh, had a subscribe button that did all that. <laughs> Question 1 comes from Steve. Steve says, Russ, do I really need 1.5 to 2 grams of protein per pound of body weight? Like I've been told in muscle building magazines. No. <laughs> Simple answer. Next. <laughs> no, uh, no you don't. I tend to get about one gram of protein per pound of body weight. That's enough. Um, yeah, there are certain <coughs> well-known fitness personalities that will swear that you need, you know, two grams, three grams of protein per pound of body weight. Said individuals are also either involved in supplement companies or own supplement companies. Have I gone too far? <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> No, um, if, as long as you're getting one gram, you're fine, okay? Uh, what tends to happen if you go that high with your protein, one of two things. Either you'll be force-feeding yourself. It's horrible. I've done it before. About five years ago, I thought you had to have that much protein per day too. So it, it's horrible trying to eat constant chicken, fish, beef, eggs, all day long. Or you'll be spending a lot of money on supplements. And that's where it comes in. Um, it's all money. Yes, there is some research that suggested a few years back, suggested that going slightly higher in your protein uh, than one gram would give slightly better results, but those results have never really been built upon. Uh, so anyone suggesting that that's why you should do it, there needs to be more research done. It was, you know, the, the difference was very slight anyway. Uh, what I mean by slight is, remember on my blog when I showed you guys that consuming 20 grams of protein after a workout is almost as good as consuming 40 grams after a workout, despite the fact that it's only half as much. Um, imagine this is the muscle protein synthesis you get of 20 grams after a workout, but when the subjects tried 40 grams, they got this, right? So my advice on the blog was, you might as well have 20 grams, you're getting almost as much muscle protein synthesis and your supplement will last twice as long, right? Um, same sort of thing here. As long as you're hitting one gram, just keep hitting one gram. <laughs> Next question, Jeff said on the website, he said, Russ, how do I stretch my biceps? The one muscle I've never known how to stretch. Well, easy, easy stretching your biceps. Now, I'm going to show you something here, if I can just jump in the rack for a sec. Alright, so use a barbell or smith machine, or if you're in the house, just use something immovable, like a window ledge, something like that. On a bar, obviously, you stick a lot of weight on so you can't move it. And all you do is, underhand grip, about shoulder width, and just pull. Okay, so that you can't move the bar, get loads of weights on and just let, just feel your biceps stretch and just hold that for 20 to 30 seconds and that'll give you a really good bicep stretch. Rick asks on Twitter, Russ, what's your favourite biceps building exercise? A uh, simple one, Rick, um, heavy negatives with an EZ bar. Look for like a, a four or five count on the way down, maybe even towards the end of your set, start performing cheat reps or get a partner to assist you getting the weight up, is that the negatives are where at least, at least half of the benefit of the exercise is in that, that lowering phase. So it just go as heavy as you can. That's my favorite move. Obviously there's many, I mean there's, yeah, there's hundreds on my website now, but uh, that's probably been my, my all time favorite. This question comes from Sophie who says, Russ, Arnold or Stallone? Stallone. Mandy on Twitter says, Russ, how many reps should I be doing in my workouts? Because I'm a girl. I mean, it, it doesn't make any difference that you're a girl. It used to 20, 25 years ago. Well, it didn't, but people thought it used to. Uh, you used to get told to do high reps. Now, you know what? It doesn't depend on whether you're a, a, a boy or a girl. Um, it depends on what your goal is. If your goal is to get stronger, you want to be sticking towards more of the lower reps. If, if your goal is to get more muscular, you want to be aiming for 8 to 12 reps most of the time. And if your goal is endurance, you want to be aiming higher reps. But you should really be mixing all three from time to time. Um, 
So yeah, the, the, the old rules about, you know, turning, just fucking thrown out the window. They're dead. Johnny says, Russ, I'm a newbie in the gym for two months. Which one of your workout plans would you recommend? Um, right, well, there's, there's tons of workout plans on my website, but the one I'd recommend is Blitz. Give Blitz a go. If you're not sure how to find it or if you're, if you're not on my website, it's, it's free. Um, head to the main menu, look for the train option in the main menu, and then just look for full programs. There you go, big list of my programs comes up. Um, and look for Blitz. Now, you could use any of the others really as well, but Blitz, the reason I suggest that is because it's full body, um, it's less voluminous, and if you're new to the gym, you won't need to hit you know, every single muscle group. Just, just focus on the big compounds, and just that's a program that you can run and run and run until you feel like you're ready to progress. Um, it'll just get you nailing the techniques for the, the big moves like deadlifts and squats and bench and military press. Um, that's really, that's where you should go uh, for at least, I would say for the first year of training, you can get a hell of a lot of benefits out of that. Once you get to the point where you can deadlift, I would say one and a half times your weight, um, you can bench your body weight and you can squat more than your body weight. Then I would say feel free to change it up. Uh, yeah, use Blitz. An interesting fact, the reason it's called Blitz um, is because training full body will fuck you up. <laughs> People often think they need, they've need they got to blast every single muscle, you know, like forearm day, uh, all that shit. Uh, that's a different way of training, but make no mistake, full body workouts will still do the trick, and it, it, if anything, they hurt even more, because you're hitting everything in one go. Um, you're still getting your volume in, because you're doing that every single time you train as well. So, enjoy. Alice asked on Twitter, Russ, what's your favorite piece of training equipment. That was hard to say. Uh, lots of P's and Q's. Um, favourite bit of training equipment at the minute is, I've got some yeah. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Resistance bands. Love them, Alice. Love them. Uh, the reason I love them is because they allow you to do a lot of exercises where there's just constant tension. It gives, it, you know how when you uh, transition from dumbbells, flies to say, cable flies, there's constant tension with the cables, allows you to get a, great, a greater workout. Well, there's certain exercises that you can't make that transition with. Like say for instance, a dumbbell bench press. It doesn't work quite the same way if you try doing it with a cable station. However, resistance bands with a bench press, either with dumbbells or just with the bands, um, yeah, constant tension on the way up and the way down. I love that. I absolutely love the, the, the extra dimension you can add to your training with that. It's fantastic. So that's my favourite at the minute. Andrew, Russ, what's your favourite pre-workout at the moment? Um, CT Fletcher, Sidewalk Cracker. Fuck me. Have you guys tried that? Read the review on my website. It's, it's strong as hell. Um, there was a worry for me, you know, when... Um, it came out that maybe they just use CT's name and just put it on a, a basic product and cash in on the name. They really haven't. It's a quality product. Um, in fact, I think it's the highest rated pre on my entire website, which, you know, it's beat some big names. Um, so yeah, that, that's my favorite. I recommend using that uh, if, you, if you need a kick. It's strong as hell, mind. So if you train late at night, probably not for you. <laughs> it's, imagine if you bottled one of CT's uh, speeches into a drink. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's probably the best way of describing it. They should put that on the top. Um, blows your head off. That's my favourite, without a doubt. Lucy says, Russ, thanks for the awesome workouts. I use your site on my mobile at the gym. Thank you. Um, she says, I discovered you through your YouTube channel. And what are your goals regarding that? Because you don't seem to upload as much anymore. Uh, my goals this year, we're, well, we're approaching 20k, we're approaching 20,000 subscribers, which fucking scares me. When we hit the 20,000 subscriber mark, I'm going to upload a brutal 1,000 rep workout for you guys, right here on the channel. Um, something that you can do in your gym as well, so get ready for that. <laughs> get subscribing if you want to see that. Um, 
My goals with YouTube, it's where I started, but I don't really have as much time to put into it as I would like. Uh, I, I love it though, hence why I'm here today. Um, the reason I haven't uploaded as much in the last few months is because I've been so busy. Uh, I never told anyone, I don't think, on my business side of things, but uh, my partner was, was pregnant um, with our third child. You know, we've had him now and uh, everything's great, but in the process of being pregnant, she left her job. So what I did is I, I actually went and got a part-time job to replace that income. So as well as doing um, all my gym stuff, you know, my, my website, my YouTube, my, my actual training plans and training people, uh, I actually took a part-time job on as well, a few hours a week in a shop. Can you imagine me in a shop? <laughs> it's good though, it's different. I'll tell you what, one thing though guys, the, uh, the uniform, God, I mean the t-shirt, uh, they don't, them clothes are not made for people who lift weights. <laughs> Looks like it's been sprayed onto my arms. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been doing all these different things and uh, I've just been a bit sidetracked, that's all, uh, keeping busy with, with everything. So it's been a lot of late nights and early mornings and of course the baby as well. Um, keep me on my toes, that's all. But uh, I've got a lot of videos coming up for you guys, I've had a chance to get tons done tons done in the last few days uh, so you'll be seeing them on the channel hopefully soon my goal for this year I want to try to get to 100,000 subscribers Did you have that loud as full car <laughs> I don't know if it's coming across on the video but fucking hell uh, yeah I want to try and get to 100,000 subscribers that's my next goal um, I'm being ambitious but why not, right? That's the whole point. That's how we got to nearly 20k in the first place, being ambitious. Um, so yeah, so if you like the videos, uh, just subscribe and share them. And that's it. That's my goal is to get to 100k because by doing that, it will free up more time for me to spend on YouTube and therefore I will spend more time on YouTube and I'll you know, get you guys in the gym with me uh, doing workouts all the time. Kelly, Russ, what's your favourite TV show at the minute? Eh. Uh, Oh, um, Vikings. Yeah, I watched that. Ragnar Lothbrok. I just got into it. I never seen any of the series before. I uh, just started watching them from the beginning, and I'm up to series three. Uh, I think there's four in total, actually. So I've still got a bit of a way to go. Oh, I'm loving it. And I don't normally like that sort of thing. Um, interesting fact, I've never watched Game of Thrones. Um, probably watch that next. But Vikings, I love it. What's yours? Adam says, Russ, who do you fancy for the Olympia this year? Uh, I can't see past Phil, to be honest. <laughs> Literally, because he's so full of my... <laughs> uh, I don't know. Who do you think? Jenny says, Russ, a lot of family members putting me down about my weight, even though I'm going to the gym now. How do I block out the haters? The haters. It always reminds me of that popular fitness saying, haters are my motivators. I don't really buy into that stuff. I think in the early days, you know, it can help. We haven't wanted to shove someone's word down their fucking throat. But I think the best way to block it out is to understand that you're going to the gym or you're dieting because of you, not because of them. Take away their power at the source. Completely irrelevant. Um, as soon as they realize, you see, these people are weak willed, very weak willed. To put someone else down takes a special kind of dickhead, I think. Um, Especially when they're trying to do something about it anyway. You know, you can typically tell they're not happy. They're trying to make changes. It doesn't take a big person to then step in and put them down about it. Uh, as soon as you take away their power and they realize, shit, she ain't listening to us. She ain't falling off her diet. She's actually going to get results. That terrifies these people. Because they're just having to go at you to, magnet, to take away from their own self issues. Um, so by doing that, yeah, just block them out. Literally do your own thing. Um, you are going to the gym for yourself, not for anyone else. Don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about you. But don't post on Facebook that you don't give a fuck, because that's a sure sign that you do. Next question, Michael says, Russ, what supplements do you use? Uh, my supplements are pretty simple, always have been really. I use um, a whey protein supplement. I use omega-3. I use a multivitamin. And I use vitamin D, 3. Um, I think that's it. Oh, sorry, I use creatine. I don't know if I creatine. Uh, and that's it, that's all I use. Occasionally, I'll pick up a pre-workout supplement, but not often. I 
find that if you know if you use them all the time, they don't work anyway. So um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is a good one. Michelle asks, Russ, what is one thing about fitness that really makes you angry? Oh, there's loads of things, but uh, everyone's got loads of things. But for me, it's probably the dumbass language people use these days. <laughs> You've seen it on uh, on, on Facebook and whatnot. Pe people can't go to the gym without changing the way they talk. They start using words like aesthetic, freak. Bay. What? Right. What the fuck is bay? Does, does it mean, like, does it mean babe? Baby? I don't know. It's just one of the things, I, it pisses me off not because other people say it, just because I, I don't understand it. And uh, I certainly couldn't say it. If I walked into my house and I said, hell, even if I just said baby, my girlfriend would laugh me the fuck out of the house. You really would, because uh, I, I can't pull it off. Um, but I see people saying not just that, but they, all these weird words they made up like B. Ah, oh. ever I hear people in gyms talking like that, I just think, shut the fuck up and lift. That's what pisses me off. It's little things, little things. Jack says, Russ, whenever I train legs, top of my thighs becomes really tight, particularly after squats. Any suggestions? Yes, um, I used to get this problem, but with me, it was an injury. With me, it was, uh, I stopped too suddenly during hit sprints one day, and let me show you. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm not getting naked here. Uh, <laughs> that's a whole other video. Um, top of my thigh right here, used to get really tight. And I knew exactly why it was, because I stopped too suddenly during hill, hill sprints. Um, trying to look cool. So. With me, you know, I had to take two weeks off training. It's the only, it's the only way you can let it recover, okay? So don't try and train through an injury. Um, or just train upper body. But when you come back to training lower body, I wanna show you a quick stretch. This is something that really helped me and it has since eradicated the problem as well. So, bring the bench, anything you can get that's uh, roughly knee height, okay? And we're just gonna get up on the bench here. Yeah? All right, so you wanna find a bench or anything else that you've got handy, something that's about knee height will do the trick. And all you're going to do is just place your foot flat on the bench and just lean forward into it. The mistake most people make when they do this one is they, when they lean forward they tend to hunch their back like that. Don't do that because you can't feel it as soon as you make that switch, okay? Keep your back straight, back leg straight, back foot flat on the ground and just lean forwards and you'll feel the stretch all the way in and out of the thigh. Uh, it's really good on this. And just hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. You'll notice a, a difference within about a week of doing that every day. I tend to, I don't do this in my workouts, by the way. I do this just around the house. Um, I find it works better. I just do it a couple of times a day around the house. Switch to the other leg. Same thing again. This is the one that I, I injured. Um, really help me address that problem, so hope it does the same for you. If you want, once you're in the stretch, you can move around, really get in there, find the sweet spot. There it is. <laughs> Again, just hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds. Work wonders for me, guys. And that's that. Susie says, Russ, when's your next workout plan out? <laughs> Bit of product placement. <laughs> um, my next workout plan is called the Rip Down. It's a fat loss plan for, it's based on intense gym workouts and outdoor training, sprint sessions. Great for fat loss. Uh, I've been trialing it for the last year with clients and on me, of course, uh, my own test subject. Um, it's coming out in March, March 2017, so not long after this video goes up. So, yeah, not long to wait, uh, Susie. Um, if you're interested in that, just call me blog, just get on my email newsletter, or join the website, use the workouts. Um, you'll hear about it when it comes out. Jane says, Russ, I've dropped 32 pounds using one of your workouts. <laughs> Proudest moment of my life. Makes me proud too. Uh, what's the proudest moment of your life? 
having kids. Having kids. I've got three young boys. Oof, they make me who I am. In every aspect. Seriously, my business, uh, my personality, just everything. Um, I couldn't imagine where I'd be if it wasn't for them little lads. Which is weird, because I thought I'd be a shit dad. <laughs> when I had my first one, I, I felt like I was a child myself. You know, I was immature, and but it, it's crazy having kids, it's, it changes you. Uh, for me, yeah, that's my proudest achievement. Just, just watching them. Not what I've done, it's just watching who they are and who they're growing into. It's, ah. And that's it for today's uh, question and answer video. Hopefully this was fun. Um, I'm going to try and do one of these every single month, depending on how many questions we get. I usually don't have time to answer them all. I'm sorry if I didn't fit yours in, but I will try and do it next time. Um, as always, you can ask me new questions on all my social media channels, Russell PTI on Twitter, Facebook, on my website. Um, or, of course, drop your questions in the comments down below on this video, and I will do my best to put it in the next video and give you a personal answer. As always, uh, See you guys next time. Hit the subscribe button. Cheers. Hey, I'm Amanda Lake from Team GB. Check out the link and subscribe to yourself. Peace out.